a brief comparison of Christianity and Islam. There are some huge similarities and core differences between these two great religions, Islam and Christianity. Here we look at both similarities and differences briefly. The core similarity is belief in one God. There are references in both scriptures regarding this. In the Bible it is mentioned. Mark chapter 12 verses 28 to 30. One of the teachers of the law came and heard them debating. Noticing that Jesus had given them a good answer, he asked him, of all the commandments, which is the most important? The most important one, answered Jesus, is this. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. It is stated in Quran. Say, O Prophet, O people of the book, let us come to common terms, that we will worship none but Allah, associate none with him, nor take one another as lords instead of Allah. But if they turn away, then say, bear witness that we have submitted to Allah alone. Now we look at the differences regarding the Christian beliefs. The main differences are if Jesus is God or Son of God, the Holy Trinity, if Jesus died for the world's sins. One of the fundamental difference between the two religions is if Jesus is God or a begotten Son of God. The Muslim argument is that Jesus himself never claimed divinity, rather he has always implied being a worshipper or servant of God. The Muslims' claims are affirmed by the statements of Jesus either worshipping God or implementing his will or calling for his help even in the Bible. While there is no clear verse indicating Jesus' divinity. Let's look at some verses. John chapter 5 verse 30. By myself I can do nothing. I judge only as I hear, and my judgment is just, for I seek not to please myself but him who sent me. 1 John chapter 20 verse 17. Jesus said, Do not hold on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. Go instead to my brothers and tell them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Matthew chapter 26 verse 39. Going a little farther, he fell with his face to the ground and prayed, My father, if it is possible, may this cup be taken from me. Yet not as I will, but as you will. Another core difference between Muslims or Christians is Trinity. The thing about Trinity is that there is only one ambiguous verse about Trinity. 1 John chapter 5 verses 7 to 8. For there are three that testify. The Spirit, the water and the blood, and the three are in agreement. But there's no Trinity in this verse. Because it was removed from the newer revisions of the Bible as there was no evidence of it in the older Greek manuscripts. Lastly, did Jesus die for our sins? Muslims set aside the statements of others about the crucifixion in the Bible and focus on Jesus' statement about it. Matthew chapter 12 verses 38 to 42. Then some of the Pharisees and teachers of the law said to him, Teacher, we want to see a sign from you. He answered, A wicked and adulterous generation asks for a sign. But none will be given it except the sign of the prophet Jonah. For as Jonah was three days and three nights in the belly of a huge fish, so the Son of Man will be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. The men of Nineveh will stand up at the judgment with this generation and condemn it, for they repented at the preaching of Jonah, and now something greater than Jonah is here. The sign of Jesus was like the sign of Jonah, and it's known that Jonah never died in the belly of the fish. The Quranic stance is that they said, in boast, we killed Christ Jesus the son of Mary, the messenger of Allah, but they killed him not, nor crucified him, but so it was made to appear to them, and those who differ therein are full of doubts, with no, certain, knowledge, but only conjecture to follow, for of a surety they killed him not. The Muslims gained their religious stance from the teachings of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him and claimed to be following the true teachings of Jesus. Please post your questions and inquiries in the comments of this video related to the subject.